anybody can hear that. We start with the Christ God. Oh, by the way, we're starting with uh, one of my all-time heroes, Christ Love, who's inspired me, of course, to always write um, and not only play, because it's been a big tradition in the 18th, 19th century, early 20th century for violinists to not only write their own cadences, but to also write arrangements, small pieces. So this is a piece by Fritz Kreisler, a very famous one called Liebeslight. play for the mic, but I'd rather play for you. So, <laughs> sorry for the recording. <laughs> uh, Gluck Melody.
So I'm off work after this one. Um, I think somebody is trying to reach somebody. <laughs> anyway, I don't think I've ever been on stage with a classical piece with a hat, but since I'm kind of like the artistic evening with the writing and composing, I thought nobody minds me right now. Everybody <laughs> <laughs> Minuetto by Fritz Kreisler. It's actually this wonderful story. Come on, I'll tell you the story. I was five years old and I was sitting in the audience and Henrik Schering gave a recital in my hometown, Aachen. And he... Let's <laughs> listen to the story. Well, he played some uh, Beethoven sonatas all evening and then I was sitting like fifth, sixth row, it was really tiny, but during the Beethoven, you know, I didn't play the violin yet really. So during the Beethoven I was kind of doing the, the, the movements like Schering did, you know. I don't know if I tried to impress him, whatever. Anyway, Schering noticed me. And every time before he started playing the next movement, he looked at me and made sure I wasn't, you know, too agile. You know, I was quiet. <laughs> at the end of the concert, he came back on stage and he looked at me again and pointed at me and said, you know, when I was your age, you know, pointing at me, I heard Fritz Kreisler play and I was sitting fourth, fifth row. And he saw me in the audience and dedicated a piece uh, to me, the Tempo di Minuetto by Chrysler. And I'm going to dedicate the Tempo di Minuetto by Chrysler to this young boy over there. So I think it's a nice story to tell. It is in three. This is funny joke, you know, people playing jazz band, they're like, one, two, three. And he's like, oh no, it's in four. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> we need, I need, need, to, need to hear that. <laughs> okay. Thank you. 
Thank you.